Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Citizen and in today's video I'm going to show you guys everything I've been coloring in my coloring books and I've sort of dreaded this video because it's going to be a lot. Um, uh, and uh, I'm not going to do uh, Lost Oceans because I already have a video of me showing uh, everything I have ever colored in this one, in this book. So if you like to see what I've been coloring in this one, um, please go go and watch that video and and yeah. And uh, without further ado, without any particular order, um, I, I sort of think this is some sort of I don't know, maybe some some method to my madness in in this um, video, but yeah, uh, let's get to it. So the first um, book is Hjaltrender by Hannah Carlson. I have done only one picture uh, in this book so far, and it is this one. Um, I. Yeah, I used uh, Luminous Pencils, uh, Polychromos maybe? Yeah, I think I used Polychromos. Uh, I used um, I used some Paul Rubens watercolor glitter and I also used some white gel pen and I did fine liner for the lettering and thankfully my coloring is a lot better than my actually my actual handwriting so so yeah. Uh, next up also uh, also by Hannah Colson, uh, Smicke Screenet. And I've done this one picture in this book. It's this one. Uh, that is a um, um, memorial picture for for Ryan Girl ninety three, and um, my idea here was that I wanted her to actually float sort of in space. That's why I did this uh, black background with a acrylic wash, um, and uh, I did use. Uh, luminance pencils for the skin. That was actually the first time I actually used, tried to do a skin type uh, doing a tutorial um, that I saw and uh, yeah I think it sort of turned out somewhat okay. Not as I had hoped for. And I used some polychromos, I used Paul Rubens and I used white gel pen and some Posca. Uh, and oh yeah, this picture is going to be on my list for uh, Easter coloring uh, this season. So I'm going to color more in this book. And next up we got Summer Nut by Hannah Carlson. And uh, I've done, I don't know how many, I don't know. This one I did color the first page. I haven't done any lettering in this because I don't know, I'm, I'm afraid. My handwriting is terrible and I, I just simply don't wanna uh, ruin this book. Uh, but anyway, uh, I used some polychromos, I used some, some jelly roll on some of, some of the details and Paul Rubens. Next up, I started this one. Um, I used, I, I've only used luminance pencils on this one. And, uh, and yeah, I, I just wanted to try them out. And uh, I have sort of this idea that I wanted to turn her uh, hair into the night sky. And, and yeah. Well, let's see, I, I have some other pictures in this one. Just have to flip 
through them a bit because I don't have anything organized in this uh, for this video I'm sorry about that but uh, I simply don't have time for it because there's so many pictures I've been coloring during this past um, oh, maybe almost three years yeah uh, so this one I used uh, my what did I did I use I used Koinor Mandalus watercolor pencils I used polychromos I used some uh, no I think I used some um, I think the gold here is from a metallic marker and the silver stars is from a silver metallic marker and I obviously use some white gel pen, I think. E, don't quote me on that. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I use for this one. And let's see here, what else have I colored in this one? Oh yeah, I this, did this for a color along. Um, Sadly, my, my grandma passed away and I just didn't feel like continue coloring this. I don't know if we're going to pick this up during the summer, uh, but I don't know. But if you want to know how I did all of this, you can follow the, uh, the half tutorial, I suppose, on, on my YouTube channel. And... Uh, and yeah, so I used Polychromos, I used uh, Koinor Mondelus watercolor pencil. And I think that's that in this book, to be honest. Next up, uh, Magis Greening, also by Hannah Coulson. I guess I'm doing all, all of my Hannah Coulson books in one go. I actually have, uh, oh here I was trying some eagle line, uh, how it was in this particular book. Uh, I actually did this really recently, uh, you can see this on my Instagram. Uh, and I did this as a body color with, uh, oh what's her name? Well I will be linking her, her Instagram in, uh, in the sub, sub in the description down below and I did use uh, Koinor uh, watercolor pencils I used some white gel pen I used some some Paul Rubens I actually used tea for, for this part and I actually have a tutorial on how to use tea as uh, to make effects for parchments and I used some uh, some polychromos, yes. So that's the only picture in this one. Now, T the vibe. I actually have a few pictures in this one. Um, this one is also by Hannah Coulson. So let's start with the one I did recently oh, where is it <laughs> here it is um i did i was following a color scheme uh because i was th i'm thinking about buying that book that color with claire used for her color schemes and uh, i I tried one of the color schemes I saw online to sort of test and try out if, you know, uh, these color scheme thingies are my thing. And uh, I used, uh, for the background, I used Koinor uh, watercolor pencils. And then I used Polychromos. Uh, I actually watched a tutorial on how to do the chicks because I have no idea how to color chicks because they are so fluffy and you know 
Oh, lastly, I watched a video of Peter Hewitt, uh, who actually did this picture. And I got so inspired by her picture that I did uh, uh, some, some elements of the background. Uh, like a lot of white gel pen uh, in the background. That's one of her aspects. But yeah, uh, Polychromos. Uh, what else? Paul Rubens. Um, and Koinor or and white gel pen. So that's that. Oh wait, I still have more pictures in this one. I'm been a busy day today. I'm not uh, quite here. So next up, uh, this picture I did with. Uh, let me think. I think I did the background with Koinor uh, watercolor pencils. And I used polychromos and I also used some white gel pen and I think I did uh, this metallic markers on, on some of the details right here and, uh, and yeah I also used a black fine liner to enhance the writing on on the label and also covering up um, these two, these two flies. I do have a lot of finishes in this book. Uh, this one I did last summer and it was, I remember it was like crazy hot and I was like sweating and trying to stay cool and drinking a lot of cool beverages while doing this and I used for the background I used Koi Noor's um, watercolor pencils and the rest is polychromos and uh, some white gel pen on the details and I think I did some metallic markers here on the wings as well I think the same goes here. I use Koinor watercolor watercolor pencils for the background. And I use some polychromos for the rest and some white gel pen. Oh yeah, and I think this is the last picture I've sort of been coloring in. Uh, this one I use Koinor. Uh, I use Koinor Mandalu's watercolor pencils in the background, and I actually use Faber Castell's color classic for some of the shading. And I, I don't know if I'm going to go back to this picture, um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, next up we got Skimningstimman by Maria Trolle. Um, I know I have a few finishes in here. So this is the first page. And I use some Koinor and Mandalus uh, watercolor pencils for the background and for some of the flowers. And I shaded a lot of things. I shaded everything with. Actually, I use Koinor Mandalus for the entire picture, to be honest. And then I shaded everything with polychromos. And I did some of the details with a white gel pen. And I also used a black fine liner for some of the details. Sorry if I'm a little bit blunt, uh, but there's a lot of picture to go through. Uh, 
okay so this one I did entirely with uh, polychromos nothing else and <laughs> I tried to do some fur on on the deer and it didn't <laughs> it didn't go as I had planned but yeah if you don't try you don't know so I know I've done a few more pictures in this. Now in hindsight I, I do think it would have been good to actually mark the pages. Here we go. Uh, this one I actually did with only coin or Mondelooz watercolor pencils. Nothing else, no shading, no gel pens or anything. And this one I did with uh, Oh, in our Mandalus watercolor pencils, I did that as a base on the flowers and then I shaded them with, um, with the polychromos and then I used, uh, I used the same pencils for the background and um, then I used some white gel pen to get this bokeh effect. And I think that's that in this book, yeah. I did some testing out on a few things on uh, in the back, but I don't think that sort of counts. And next up we got Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Halloween coloring book. And I've done a few pages in this, so I'm actually quite... Um, impressed by myself that I actually done a few pages in this one because um, here in the front I've just tried a few things out but yeah I'm, I'm actually quite impressed that I've done uh, so much in this uh, so here we have I've done this with the Oh, what did I use? I used the Koinor Mandalus watercolor pencils for the background and for whatever is in this kettle. I used a marker base and uh, then I shaded it with, um, with polychromos, I think. Yeah, with polychromos. And then I did some white gel pen here and there. And um, I also did, uh, I think this is Kuritake, oh, yeah, there are some Kuritake watercolors, uh, you know, the, the metallic um, gold one on her dress. Um, then this one is entirely in polychromos and I used some white gel pen, pen for some of her details. Uh, here, this is actually the first uh, picture I did with, um, as a with a uh, marker base. So the marker I use is Pro Marker, and uh, I did that, and then I shaded everything with the polychromos, and and I used some white gel pen, and. Uh, her pearls, I don't know if you can see it, but a little bit shiny. It's the iridescent color from the Kurutaki set. Next up in this um, book is this one. I did this for the Halloween color along uh, maybe two years ago when uh, I think it was Shaleen reading with pugs 
I think it's Color to Life also, and then, oh yeah, and Anne Hatfield, and they all had a color along with this book, and so I bought this book, and this was one of the pictures that was in that color along, and I used, uh, oh my, can I actually remember this? I used, I, I see it, the background, I did uh, coin or mandaloos because that's the pen set, set of pens that I have for forever and I really like them. Uh, so I used uh, my, my watercolor pencils. I used, I think I shaded this with Faber-Castell color, color cla what's her name? It's like Faber-Castell Classics and uh, I used a white gel pen. Uh, next up, these are just, you know, uh, experimental. I tried out, I knew, no, these two, I was trying out how to do a, um, a warm skin tone and a cold skin tone. And uh, here I was trying out the markers with polychromos. And I used marker also here with the, with polychromos. And, uh, and yeah. And, oh yeah, and these two I shaded a bit with Faber-Castell's classic color pencils. This one was also for the color along. And I did this with a uh, Koinor Mandalus and the classic color pencils. And some white gel pen, apparently. Uh, this one was also for the color long. Oh, now I think of this. I, I think this was... There was another one also for the color long, not the four I mentioned. Uh, uh, I have such a bad memory. Uh, but anyway, uh, this was done with Koinor Mandalus watercolor pencils. <laughs> and uh, I shaded with uh, Faber Castell's classic color pencils and I used white open for the highlights. Here I was just trying some new techniques uh, with the blending, uh, blending um, polychromos with in with a blender alcoholic marker. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to see some results and you know, these tiny, tiny uh, pictures are perfect for if you just want to experiment with something. So that is what I used them for. I know I have like two left in here. Oh yeah, this was also for the color long. I think this was Anne Hatfield's picture that she picked, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and uh, I actually started to experiment a bit more uh, because these trees in the background are not my watercolor pencils. They are actually the Kuritake um, watercolors. But other than that, it's um, the rest of it is uh, watercolor pencils and and Faber Castell's classic. I think this is the last one that I actually have done in this book. Uh, but yeah, this one is entirely with water. Um, Faber Castell watercolor pencils. I'm just gonna say watercolor pencils because that's going on Mandalus are the only watercolor pencils I actually have. So 
so yeah uh, so I hope you guys don't mind uh, I think this was Shaleen's picture by the way um, but anyway I did this with uh, yeah watercolor pencils only and uh, some white gel pen uh, for her eyes <laughs> That was the last one. Yes, it was. Next up, uh, Nordiska Vasen. I know the only thing I've done in here, except for this one, this one was done in coffee, is done with uh, watercolor pencils. So I guess don't have to say anything else and my voice is sort of cracking up <coughs> I love this book so much this this is my favorite coloring book mostly because I I love mythological creatures, fantasy creatures this one I actually was inspired by another picture uh, where the um, where, where, where it was um, a picture where, where where the trees were just bare and um, I was feeling a bit autumnly, I guess. I don't know if you even know if that's a real word. And here I tried a, to do a background for the first time. But yeah, this is my favorite book. Um, and lastly, Nordiska Gudar by Johan Egerklans. Oh yeah, and this is Nordiska Vasen. Um, and here I only done one. And this one. And I don't like how I did her skin tone, so I sort of left it at that. But I'll be back with you guys soon. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye!